it is important for the audience to feel disturbed and unsettled we are going to zabardasti ka show you stuff then i feel like people will start censoring us my job is, as an actor is not to have political agreements or disagreements with my character the reason bollywood glorifies police violence of that kind is because in our public culture we glorify it i'm not in the in crowd you know yet i get work with such you know wonderful people and get to play such wonderful parts i tried watching uh, the series uh, flesh but i couldn't beyond two scenes i was like i can't take this anymore uh, one thing that you know shows nowadays on ott platforms uh, like pata log mirzapur and now flesh uh, don't you guys think the graphic sexual violence is like overpowering while the reality that needs to sh- uh, shock us it's becoming a trope i'm not going to agree with you there unfortunately <laughs> because uh, you know if we had gone the other way you would be saying the opposite that we left it surface free and we didn't go into the depths of what this world is uh, the world that we are tackling is a very scary very difficult to digest world and if we're not going to present it with accuracy then you know then there's a whole host of other issues right that you weren't real to the actual subject so i i i actually i i'm not sure how i feel because i actually am not someone who enjoys uh watching violence i do agree with akshay it is a bit of a cast twenty too because if we don't show it then we're not being able to actually tell uh, uh, tell you exactly how heinous this world is and it is important for the audience to feel disturbed and unsettled because that is ultimately what uh, what uh, the aim of a show like this is i think intention is important how do they decide how much is too much you know because there has been a debate about censorship or ott platforms and ott platforms are so easily accessible to teenagers now we have to be somewhat responsible right so as makers there has to be a limit in which to operate right because eventually if we are going to zabardasti ka show you stuff then i feel like people will start censoring us and then that's a whole host of other problems that we don't even want to get into um so we do need to be responsible but but with that said the stories need to be told realistically i think agar uska fayda uthaya ja raha hai then we're going in the wrong space i actually i'm in a place in my head where i'm like why do we need to seek out darkness and violence in our uh, in uh, content we have it every day in the newspapers and in real life and even uh, getting to flesh has been uh, uh, only possible for me because i know the script and i know that it's a happy ending and i know that you know whatever so so i i i'm the wrong person to be actually answering this question the cop that you play you know you believe in punishing uh, criminals your way you know uh, you don't follow the rules uh, at times so um, you know recently also we have seen police violence and you yourself have tweeted about it and we have seen videos about it yeah. uh, you know uh, did you question uh, that while shooting Uh, or uh, were you scared that this character might get backlash yeah absolutely you know and that dialogue is actually in the trailer and it, it, it's a very talimar dialogue that mai chahti hu ki mai sare sex traffickers ko chopati pe nanga khada kar do aur machine gun se uda do now that is my character speaking from a certain place and when you watch the whole show you understand why she has that kind of a response to sex traffickers that is not a position i would espouse as swara bhaskar the individual publicly or frankly even privately uh, i don't think that uh, instant justice mob justice and this kind of a thing uh, you know quick fix solutions to crime i don't support that i i i i have said this very vocally we have seen a uh, sort of a spate of encounters in uh, both uttar pradesh we've seen the benix and jairaj case in tamil nadu and uh, i think that it's a cause of police brutality we've seen what happened during the cnrc protests um, on the students in jamia and aligarh in uttar pradesh um, so i mean i think that that's a very real problem in our in our society that said my job is, as an actor is not to have political agreements or disagreements with my character as an actor i play the character according to what the writer wrote according to what the director's vision for it is and i have to find motivations and justifications within quotes for the character's emotionality within the script i don't have to agree with it I just have to make sure that I do such a good job of the of the role that Abira doesn't watch it and think ki nahi actually Swara doesn't agree with this position. That's all my job as an actor is. You and so, I understand this, but when you go on Twitter, yeah. when a encounter yeah. happened, 
people all yeah. were rejoicing and saying, "Oh, ye hamara yeah. Simba hai." Are you getting it? Yeah, because I mean, people I, I, relate I, I, to movies. I agree with you. I agree with you. But I also think that look, there, you know, it's it's a it's a dialectic. It's a two way street. The reason Bollywood glorifies police violence of that kind is because in our public culture we glorify it. It's not it's not just the other way around. And I really feel. Frankly, and I'm also. I mean, you know, the thing is that audiences need to take some responsibility. Not just audiences, public, and as public, as members of public, all of us need to take responsibility for our own views. It's all very well to say, "Oh, Bollywood is so bad." Bollywood, uh, you know, uh, encourages stalking. Bollywood encourages uh, police brutality. Well, hello then, because you know what? I remember when Major Gogoi uh, uh, case happened and that human shield thing happened, and all of us were applauding it. and because all of us were applauding it it found its way 10 months later into a film in baghi 2 that scene was there so you know the idea that it's only the public being influenced by bollywood is actually not true because bollywood is also part of this society and bollywood is also picking up tropes from what we are normalizing in the public and we have seen this most clearly in the representation of muslims um, uh, post the babri masjid demolition uh, through uh, the the late 90s and 2000 and in the, in the way in which historicals in bollywood now have become basically you know i mean i don't know what the hell is going on with the kind of uh, historicals we're making because it is happening in our public in our society and and that's what bollywood is being influenced by so i think that actually there's a two way street there Akshay, uh, has surviving in this industry been difficult? I'm very grateful for the kind of journey that I've had. I mean, from my first film, which was I was launched by Suresh Bharatiya. Yeah, it's no small feat. Maybe I was asked that question about my due too many times that I was just like, listen, I'm gonna work so hard that nobody can ignore me, and people will give me work just because I show up. So if I show up, they'll be like, he shows up. He's a good actor, obviously. You know, people talk so much about this nepotism thing lately, and so much about being in the in crowd. I'm not in the in crowd. you know yet i get work with such you know wonderful people and get to play such wonderful parts so i actually love the film fraternity and i think there's some really great people out here that really are interested in the craft and the work and that's why i'm here thank you so much guys thank you for talking to us thanks thank you. abira it was a pleasure it's a real pleasure